Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well today. Today I want to film a like 2016 vibe makeup. I think we've all heard more makeup is back, which I love. Even though, don't get me wrong, day to day I'm glad that we don't have to feel like we have to go out in like a full like beat. Um, throughout like a lot of my life I wore a lot of makeup every day and basically since Covid, since we all took a step back um, and more minimal makeup was in day to day, that is my journey. But going out, I don't want to see just a skin tint. I love a look. I love a glam. I love to see a lot of makeup. On YouTube, the YouTubers that I watch the most are the full, like, glam girlies. I love, yeah, that's just what I like. I actually do have some products that I've kept, probably not for, um, and yeah, we're just gonna be kind of cre recreating the kind of makeup that I was doing in 2016. I'd love if you can like and subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me. And yeah, let's get into it. Back in 2016, 2016 I had just graduated uni. And yet in the September I moved to London. I, the very bottom of my Instagram is 2016. I don't really have a lot saved on like my phone of that time. I used Snapchat back then, which I like don't use now. So I feel like instead of Instagram stories, I don't even have Instagram stories for a thing then. Maybe they just started in 2016, 2017, I'm not sure. But yeah, all of my pictures were on Snapchat, which I don't have. But I have found a few. So what I'll do is I'll put them here, actually. I'll flick them up. So these were all like night out pictures. Um, this was me pre-lip filler. <laughs> I've got a little little thin top lip um but as you can see all black and white i still had an aesthetic back then um as you can see we're going blocky brows we're going a full lash i had two lipsticks which are were my favorite and i still have them yeah and i don't know if i was ever like a full like cut crease girly um, I definitely was obviously like the full coverage, no blush, no cream products. Yeah, it was just a lot. I actually didn't watch YouTube back in this time. I only really started watching YouTube just before the pandemic, which I'm sad about. I'm sad I wasn't like in YouTube in its heyday. Um, I probably would have started YouTube a lot sooner had I been like fully watching it back then. Um, but yeah, I'd moved to London. It was my first winter in London. Again, I was going out every weekend. I don't know how I afforded it. Every, every weekend at uni, I went out. And in the week, I don't, like, don't know how. But yeah, it was a good time. Good time for me. But yeah, I definitely wore makeup. I definitely was like a makeup girl. But yeah, so... Let's get into the makeup. Um, so I showed you some pictures before. I'm not really basing it on a makeup look. I'm just going to try and like think back to how I would do it. This look here, I'd actually gone and got my makeup done at a Mac store. My cheekbones are popping. Um, and she'd done like the full cut crease dark outside shadow. So I don't know if my abilities were cut crease level back then, but I definitely wore like eyeshadow looks. And I wore eyeliner like every day, every day. Crazy. Sorry if you can hear noises. My upstairs neighbor, uh, like sometimes they're the quietest and I never hear them. And sometimes they sound like they're about to fall through my ceiling and I don't know if they're moving furniture, so I apologise if you can hear little, like, creaks. Okay, was I using primer back in 2016? Don't think I was. I think primer for me came later, but I definitely would always make sure my face 
was super, super, super moisturized. I remember like moisturizing, letting it sit, and then going back and like putting a bit more moisturizer on. But I just don't think primer back then was a thing. I'm trying to think. I used to, there's a place I used to sit in my room. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. I wouldn't have used Kiehl's back then. I would have used like a basic, maybe even like a simple moisturizer. Do you know the brand Simple? Um, but this is a really good one and I definitely think it would have been thick so pulled this one out I had like the front room and it had like a bay and I had my desk in the bay and I would sit there with the same mirror that I'm looking in right now yeah and I would sit there and do my makeup so I'm really trying to like think back to like that time yeah back then I don't think I did any skincare I think I was a makeup wipe girl but my skin looked great. My skin now, well, since I came off the pill, is the worst it has ever been. Okay, so moisturized. I mean, that is quite thick, but like I wouldn't normally just put something this thick on underneath. Um, and then we're going straight to foundation. So I don't have the same foundations that I used to use, but I remember I everybody had the MAC Studio fix i want to say it was um and it came in a bottle that was literally like this and i used to mix it with i don't have it either the bourgeois healthy skin it was my favorite 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 i used to rave about it to everybody foundation um and so i don't have that so i'm going to use my l'oreal and i'm basically going to mix these two together the i wanted my face to be the blankest full coverage and i didn't use any sponges back then 2016 i think i was a brush girly i do think that other people maybe had a beauty blender back then but i definitely didn't i, I loved the real techniques brushes it was a mix the brushes that i used was a mix of real techniques and mac mac brushes i feel like i look a bit yellow i've decided that from now, all of my base products that I'm going to buy, well, basically foundation and concealer, are all going to be cool. Like, I'm just not this undertone. So the colours that I had in the L'Oreal is 1.5N. And, yeah, so this is NC11, which means not cool 11. So this is basically, like, warm. Uh, MAC always do it, like, the weird way. Um, but I've always bought NC, like I've got, um, I've got a uh, powder to use later and again, NC15. We're looking at yellow. But this is quite a recent purchase, but I think it's just because in MAC stuff I've always been NC11, NC15, that that's just stuck in my head. But I need to, yeah, not be buying the wrong colour. Um... I can't remember if I wore concealer or not. I feel like in 2016, I didn't. I feel like it was more for me 2017, like that year. But I remember like when I first used to actually do concealer, we would do the big like triangles um, and this I just pulled out my super stay because I definitely would have used a drugstore concealer I don't remember having a um, MAC concealer so yeah we're doing <laughs> but yeah I just don't remember ever doing concealer when I'm in my uni room so I feel like it would have been later on. I don't even think I would have done that. It was, maybe the time that I started doing concealer was the time that was the time that I started using sponges. So maybe that was 2017, 2018. Which is actually wild. Like, so I've been in my job for eight years. And eight years feels like such a long time. So I'm having to think back. Eight years. 
sometimes it, I struggle to remember what I did last week. But we're looking bright, we're looking snatched. This is such a lot of conditioner. Conditioner? Concealer. Um, did I use any cream products back then? No. I didn't start using cream products until, again, COVID. Maybe a bit before. So we are going to set this down now. Blank. And I didn't use loose powder. Again, obviously, because I wasn't on YouTube, I feel like all the girlies that were on YouTube during 2016 probably did use contour, I don't know. And like maybe used cream products and maybe used loose powder. The first loose powder I got was my Laura Mercier. I think it was well into me being in London. I don't think it was when I was in Leeds. But I definitely used MAC. This is the Studio Fix. The Studio Fix Power Plus Foundation. So it's a powder foundation. And this is in, yeah, NC15. So not cool 15. This is something that I have repeat, repeatedly bought. Because um, I always like having having one of these i think the one that i used to use was darker than this um i think the last time i purchased this i realized i needed something a lot lighter and i did always use like a little puff i still have this because i keep it like in here um and i take this on nights out with me but but i remember i used to use just a big brush and yeah set everything down And I think it's crazy that I just used to be this like blank. And my skin looks cakey. It doesn't look nice. <laughs> like I don't look. But I remember this is how I used my skin used to look. It looked like it couldn't breathe. We're just going in with all this powder everywhere. I've always kind of done my makeup in a similar order. That order has never really changed. I never was an eyes first girly. And then there was a hot mess version of this. So this is from Effin Cosmetics. There's a brand that does like really good tan called Effin. And she does really nice hair stuff. I've got some of her leave-in conditioner. But she's basically friends with Taylor Blue, who is on Instagram. She's really funny. Love her. She used to run a company called Hot Mess. And that was around even when I maybe I was in Derby. Um, and she bought out this makeup palette. And yeah. They relaunched this a few years ago and I bought it. This shade number two, which was like a yellowy powder. And yeah, it would like almost like brighten. But again, it's like a yellow powder. But yeah, brighten underneath my eyes. And I would, at uni, love this palette. And I would use this. Even though it has a blush in this one, I don't think the original one did have a blush. Or if it did, it was like more of like an orangey blush. And then I would, again, I would just use all these like big brushes. Um, I would use the contour colour. And I would kind of just, I wouldn't even really bronze my face. I would just kind of add to like, my favourite part of going out was was the getting ready part like it was so fun we would always have like pre-drinks and yeah it was just like the funnest time like getting glam like three times a week the dream <laughs> okay we're <laughs> scarily bronzed um so yeah if any of you ever had the hot mess palette like this let me know because it was like, yeah, it was great. Okay, and then last but not least for the base was highlighter. Highlighter had me in a chokehold. Like this Urban Decay, I think this is the original one. This Urban Decay, I think I've used this before on my channel, but just as like a topper. I used to put this everywhere. And then yeah, we used to have MAC, this is in Light Scapade. 
and I used to use like a fan brush. I don't really have a fan brush, but I'm gonna use this blush brush and we would go so heavy with the highlight. I would be like a disco ball and we would go on the nose. I feel like I used to have like one that was like blinding. I think I probably just got rid of it in that time. But was there one that was more for MAC that was more obvious than this? Like this is a bit of like glow from within, but back then we would highlight absolutely everywhere. And then yeah, I would go in with this. This is the Illuminator in Aura. And I would literally take this little brush that it came with and I would just add, can you see that glitter? I don't know if you can. Just add pure glitter onto my face. Like this is literal glitter particles. I don't know if you can see. And yeah, we would put this absolutely everywhere. And I would just be this giant glitter ball. Crazy. Yeah, I love this. Never got rid of it because I don't think you can get it anymore. This is really nice to use on your body. I don't really ever use it on the face now. Um, and this, again, like I've kept because there's like nothing left in it. And it's always good to have a highlighter option. <laughs> this is how I used to look back then. Like really crinkly under eyes. Almost like flat. <laughs> with a bit of something going on here, which is crazy now for brows and i used to have the benefit little like case that had powder on one side and gel on another i did have dip brow at one stage um but i don't remember when when that was but today i am gonna just use some shadow um so i've got my big beauty bait palette and yeah i'm gonna take just the brown and i am just gonna fill in my brows with this i used to get my eyebrows tinted at benefit they used to have like a brow counter i don't know if they still do i used to get them waxed and tinted like every few months so my brows had better upkeep than they do now and yeah that's how i just used to fill in my brows this is how they used to be i feel like they yeah i look a bit scary I look like i've left the dye on and i always find ever since my botox wore off for me my eyebrows are a bit wonky on my face anyway <laughs> Um, okay, and now for eyes, what we're going to do is we all had the Naked palette. And I actually took my Naked palettes apart and I basically put all of my, all of the shimmers across, I think I had one, two and three. I put all the shimmers that I loved in one and I had mattes in another. The matte one started to like crumble and so I did keep this, I've kept this just for like... This must be, yeah, eight years old. But every, like, birthday, this was what we got for each other. We got, like, the new Naked palette. Um, so, yeah, so I've just got my Beauty Bay one because I basically used to use this one colour um, that was very similar to this Canyon colour. And I would basically... Obviously, we're not... There's no prepping the eyes... And I think I would just put this all over, just have like a brown, and I would go kind of like all over the lid. And then I would take almost like a black, like a black brown, and just deepen that corner. I don't remember ever really doing a cut crease. But I think I was like a dark, smoky person. And I would literally have like a dark, dark eye. It's even hard to make look good now. <laughs> and then I would t 
take it i would take a light color i don't know if i do this on my finger but i would add like a lighter color on the inside so i guess it was kind of the cut crease vibes but without fully doing the cut crease so the inside was lighter and i definitely did used to put st some stuff under the eye i think i've always been that the under eye girly and then i would take this always and put this here like a really like sparkly inner in a bit and then we used to take liner liner is not my friend and i'm so glad i learned that um yeah and the liner would go all the way from the inner corner all the way over this is um the feline flick one but i think i used to use um like a l'oreal one so yeah and i would do like a thick don't know who told us that i mean that looks quite a good liner i feel like it definitely used to look worse than that <laughs> oh yeah i used to take this shimmer where's that naked palette i used to take this shimmer on like a flat brush so i'm going in with my old expired naked palette and i would run shimmer underneath i don't know if you can see that so i've got in a corner and then i've got this shimmer and then yeah i would make sure that like my bottom was shimmery i feel like i did used to like really go in like here like that but not even like in a cute way i remember thinking it like would make my eyes look like longer can you see in that one i don't know if you can see can you see i've kind of i used to go like in it's just not the vibe um i'm gonna go away i'm gonna do this side and then we can come back do lashes and lips okay hi i'm back do you know what's weird about this it's almost like looking into a time machine like looking like this literally throws me back to that time weird it's amazing that makeup can do can do things like that so yeah we're looking not cute we're full glam we're very sparkly the liner is awful <laughs> but we're going with it okay and i've always been a benefit lash girly or i think back then i used to use a lot of mac mac just was my makeup bag but i definitely think maybe i started using benefit don't know if roller lash was even out then but i just picked up roller lash so yeah just literally coating my lashes i've always been a bottom lash girl and we used to wear full lashes and to be honest i don't have any like i used to i never used to wear like a wispy lash it was the um isla like do you know the ones that were literally like a thick thick and black but yeah definitely not a half lash girly at all that was like way way later so always been was a full lash girl these are my fullest ones that i have so they're gonna have to do and don't get me wrong i actually feel like there is a place for a full lash i feel like they give you like an energy it's given <laughs> it's given glam it's so much harder to put on a full lash like I can put on a half lash in like seconds. I mean, it's definitely a moment, but yeah, it feels like having that feeling here is not something that I've missed. Okay, 
lips. We've got an OG Kylie. This is in Exposed, which is the lightest, grossest. Sorry, I had to put it in a really weird place. The lightest lip liner I would ever have. But these two lip products consumed me. This NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip was basically, and this is in corset, this was my only lipstick I would really wear. Um, I've kept this purely for colour purposes because it's my all time favourite lip colour. And I always, if I, I always just try and find lipsticks that are this colour, but obviously in like newer formulas. So NYX, if you're watching this, please bring out in like a newer lip formula, this corset colour. But second of all, the MAC lipsticks. This is my only MAC lipstick left. At one stage, we had, I had loads, I had Whirl, Taupe, red, the red one, was it Ruby Woo? Was it Sin? Or like Myth? There was like a purple. I swear like a really dark purple. Yeah, all the iconic ones. But this is Viva Glam 2. And this is like one of my favourite lipsticks. It's like a brownie nudie pink. This is a newer one. I think I bought this maybe like a couple years ago. Because it's just such a like a lovely colour. But today we're going to do this. And this is expired and probably gross. I shouldn't be putting it on my lips. But this was honestly like my favourite. And yeah, this was my first. I wonder when this came out. Like when was Kylie? What year did Kylie lip kits come out? 2015. Yeah, so this would have been. I went to America and I bought this. Um, and I bought like a darker one, but I just don't have that anymore. And I'm surprised I even have this. I think it just laid around. This colour just isn't the vibe. You can literally not even see it. This is just wild that I would have worn. But I will just say, formula It's great creamy i mean i look terrifying and then we're gonna go in i mean it's crusty dusty think of this lip color with a with a better lip liner yeah this tone with the right lip liner stunning for like fair skin so yeah here we have it scary i look yeah, like I say, it's like looking back at my old self. Obviously, I had thinner lips. <laughs> but yeah, here's the final look. I've got a lot of makeup on. And I, it, maybe it's the eyes with, like, feeling the lashes. Cause with my half lashes, I don't normally feel them. The liquid lipstick, which is, like, crusty dusty. They're, like, yeah. It's just a lot. But... I don't feel like I look that bad. Like, would I leave the house like this? If I had to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think back then, the fact that we were getting so glam all the time, I'm just completely here for. But yeah, I think it's fun. It's fun to reminisce. Like I said, the more I look at myself, the more I really think of that's how I looked back then. Yeah, it's very nostalgic. It's very like fun to do these kind of things. And if this kind of makeup, heavier makeup is making a comeback, a bit more matte makeup, like I said, I'm here for it. I'm here for the looks. I'm here for being glam when we want to be glam. I'm not minding the full lash, just obviously with maybe different eyes, but yeah. Here we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, I will try and link everything down below. I don't know if everything will be there. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming it with you. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you again super soon.